first of all, um, the city's free to do what they want with this drain, and, and um, it's totally consistent with what was done more recently through LaSalle, because in the early 1990s, the Turkey Creek was improved to the 100-year standard. So it actually, this, this large drain only has a 100-year outlet capacity. So uh, what the city would be doing is not anything inconsistent with what's been done downstream. And recent improvements upstream have been built you know, the section from Howard Avenue to Walker was built, I think, in the, in the mid-1990s, and it was built to the 100-year standard. So this is just a mid-section of drain that has just a very large capacity, and it has a lot of hardscape that needs maintenance, and whether you, know, you want to maintain status quo or whether you want to uh, replace what's there with something a little more, you know, um, I guess multi-use and, and more uh, green, environmentally compatible, and has some other assets associated with it instead of just drainage? Well, I think it would be uh, certainly aesthetic improvement, preservation of that drainage function, but then um, trails, uh, linkages of the neighborhoods across the drain. Right now, that large drainage corridor provides quite a barrier between people moving. You move over the, the bridges that are there, either the roadway bridges or the walking, the few walking bridges that are there. So this would provide a little more opportunity for more casual crossing and interaction across, you know, through that that corridor. If you had the money to build it all, it might be a, a couple of year undertaking. I don't think you'd ever uh, try to accomplish it in one year because I think there's just too much there to build in one season and I don't know that the neighborhoods would tolerate everything going at once, but I think realistically it could be built over you know, the next 10 year period if there was that initiative.